Hello YouTube, Real Shooting here and in today's video we're going to be doing this month's Six Sense unboxing. This is for the month of January. So this box, whenever you order the monthly subscription, your payment will go through on the 15th. Today is the 20th and I'm recording this video today. I'm going to upload it today. So there will be no video for this Sunday since I'm uploading this one today. I try to get you these videos out pretty early as soon as I can. So as soon as this comes in the mail, I'm going to do the video, open it up for you guys, and upload it right away. So this is for this month's box. Again, I got it on the 20th, so five days. That was pretty quick. I do live in Texas, though, so for people who live further, I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of difference in the shipping. So some people have to wait closer till the end of the month. Anyways, let's get started on this month's bag. I'm pretty excited to see what's inside. I literally, about 20 minutes ago, I saw on Instagram that Millican Fishing showed his box so he did get his and he showed that the sack was red i believe everybody gets the same color sack in their monthly subscription so let's see if it's red then it'll be this one if it's not red maybe he ordered something else who knows what color is it aha uh -huh, it's red so he did get it today also that's interesting six cents fishing Check it out, pretty nice. I don't have a red one yet, so now I do. Let me move the box out of here. We're gonna open this up, let's get started. We'll go one item at a time, at random. That's how we do it. Let's see, I feel a hard bait here. Let's see what we got. Oh, no way. I've been wanting one of these. So apparently people say you don't get the provoke in the monthly sack. This is something new for this year. Let me move the lighting a little bit. We're getting like a glare. So this is the Provoke 106X. The color is Threadpin Shad. I've been wanting to try this out. Look at that, you guys. A six cents jerk bait. That is a nice color too. Let's get that out of the package real quick. Again, Threadpin Shad, very natural. Oh man, that hook is stuck in the package. Can we get this out? It looks like it got hooked, and I don't want to hook myself. There we go. Again, that color is Threadfin Shad. This is a slow floating slash suspending. So I like that. A little bit better than a sinking one. I'm not going to snag as much. Fishing from the bank. This one is a half ounce. Again, Threadfin Shad. Very natural looking colors on that. Pretty excited to throw this. Alex and I have been catching bass lately on jerk baits. He's been fishing it a lot more than I have. And he's gonna like the looks of this one. Look at that. Very nice natural pattern. And he likes when it has three trebles. I don't mind if it has three or two. At in the beginning I had more confidence in the smaller jerk baits, which normally will have only two trebles. But I have seen him catch them on the bigger ones and I've caught a couple on bigger ones, so I do have more confidence in it now. These hooks are very sharp. And that is nice. I finally have a, a Provoke, one of the Six Sense jerk baits. I'm pretty excited to try this. I'm pretty sure it'll get many bites. Hopefully we get some big ones on that. I feel like that's probably one of the most exciting lures in this month's bag and I haven't even gone through them. Let's see what else we got. The Swank 77X. Look at that. That looks like a shallow diving crankbait. It has that little, like an L-shaped bill. So this is not your average crankbait. Wild Lava Craw, three quarter ounce, 77 millimeters. Let me get that out of the package real quick. Wild Lava Craw, crawfish patterns do extremely well. And with, you know, spring coming up, we gotta be loaded with these crawfish pattern lures. This is definitely gonna get bites. I'm pretty excited. I like that lip because some of the spots I fish, they have grass on the bottom of the pond. I'm able to fish this right above that grass without getting hung up. And this crawfish pattern is definitely going to get bites, you guys. Look at that. Again, there's that L-shaped bill. A couple of companies are trying that out now, so we'll see. Maybe I can catch one on this, maybe not. I'm pretty sure we will, though. Can't wait to tie that on. Two exciting lures. I like the colors, too. Can't complain. Look at that. We got some hooks. Six cents. The Ox Flipping Hooks, size 4 aught. I don't have any flipping hooks, so that's good I got these now. Flipping is not something I do a lot, but I know the Prawn is a really good flipping bait. That's what a lot of people like to do. 
And I do have a combo with 50 pound braid, which I do plan on flipping with. I believe right now it is ready to flip. I could tie on one of these hooks too, because you got that little bait keeper on the back. It's supposed to hold your lures on there much better, especially when you're flipping through grass and mats. The bad thing about this is that most of the grass is going to die off now, but it'll be back in the summer. Definitely can try those out. I never tried flipping hooks. Oh, look at that. The Six Sense Hybrid Jig. I already know this color because I have it. I might have two or three in this color, actually. And this is 3 8 ounce. I like that size. I like this style, too. The Hybrid Jig is one of my favorite jigs. This color here is Bluegill Fire. I believe that's the name of it. Oh no, Cajun Crawl. Look at that. Bluegill Fire. I'm mixing it up. Cajun Crawl. But I do know I have this exact one in a 3 8 ounce also. I believe I might have two of them. And I have this exact color in a swim jig too now. So that's pretty exciting. I won't be as upset if I snag one. At least I have a couple of backups. We have a really bad glare. Let me try to fix that. There you can see. Pretty nice jig. I'll leave it in the package. So we got a jig, a crankbait, a jerkbait, some flipping hooks. I know we got some plastic. Let's see what we got. Looks like the prawn. Green pumpkin juice. Oh no, this is the stroker craw green pumpkin juice. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure we got these last month. Green pumpkin juice. That rings a bell. I believe I got this in the prawn last month. So now I have it in the stroker craw. I really like these craws though. I know it's going to work. I like to pair them up on the back of the jig. So... You can match that up with this. If you need to cut it down a little, you can. We'll get one out real quick. Green pumpkin juice. It's pretty much like your normal green pumpkin, except it does have little blue and purple flakes in there. These lures are heavily scented, you guys. There's that green pumpkin juice. Stroker craw. One of my favorite craw fishing lures. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm glad to have another stroker craw now. I believe I have maybe three packs, three different colors to mess with. You can fish these on their own. Oh, I also have the minis, which I do fish on an edry. Or you can do like I like to do and pair it up on the back of a jig. I really like fishing craw style lures on the back of a jig. But also every now and then I'll add on a paddle tail. Maybe the divine swim jig. I'm just going to close this up and set it right here on the back. Let's keep going. How many items? One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how many more we got in here. Oh, we still got two more items. Total of seven items. So what do we have here? The Munch 40 Boiled Crawfish. I know this color. Yeah, I believe it's like their bright orange. Look at that. That is a nice crankbait, you guys. The Munch 40 2.5 inch crankbait. 7 16 ounce pretty nice i don't have the munch so now i do the munch 40 dives two to three feet this crankbait can be used around almost any type of cover of shallow water i'm sorry can be used around almost any type of shallow cover what makes the bait unique is the hard thumping and the hunting action in a smaller profile crankbait it almost looks like that other one back here Again, all these crawl pattern crankbaits, they work. I mean, come on. Everyone has that in their tackle box. If you don't have crawfish pattern crankbaits, you got to pick up a couple. Look at that. And I do have this color too, boiled crawfish. I have it in the bigger size crankbait. So that's exciting to have this smaller, downsized lure. I know this will work extremely well at the Trinity River. I like fishing crankbaits there, just bouncing off, off the rocks at the spot that I fish at. Look at that. Very nice. Probably throw it in the pond too. I like this color. I know it'll show up really well, especially in dirty and stained water. Let's compare it to that one. Look at that. They almost look pretty close. A couple of differences. Here we have black stripes. Here it's gold. There's like a mixture of some gold in here too. This one's definitely bigger. You would expect to get a bigger bite on that one. Pretty nice. I like it. Nice little crawfish crankbait. At least I have a little shallow diver now and that too what else do we have one last item in the bag and we'll call it a day for this video if you've been watching so far please give it a thumbs up you guys and i appreciate everyone who has subscribed so far 
I believe we're at around 370 subscribers. Let's keep going, you guys. Last item in this month's bag. Yes. A lipless crankbait. You guys, I have been catching them and catching them on lipless crankbaits lately. I might not go fishing this weekend because it's been pretty cold. I believe the lows, I mean, we're in the 30s, the 20s, and the highs are like at the 40. If it was around 60 with no wind, I would go, but the wind is so hard lately. Anyways, this is the half ounce lipless crankbait, the Thud 70. I believe I have mostly the Quakes. So I'm interested to see the difference between the Thud and the Quake. Increased vibrations, a different thump and feel to the fish, resulting in more bites. The Thud model has an intense knocking sound to offer a different sound than the traditional BBs. That color is called Spring Bluegill. Alright, well let's hear this. I like that bluegill pattern. This is definitely going to work right now, you guys. We're fishing in the pre-spawn. The pre-spawn is coming up and the spawn. All that springtime fishing. We're still in the winter, but crawfish patterns will work in the winter. Look at that. Very nice bluegill pattern. I like that. That is a nice lipless. I don't think I have very many bluegill pattern lipless crankbaits. Oh yeah, this is definitely... Not like your ordinary BBs. It's more like a knocker in there. Definitely a different sound. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Can't wait to try that. I know it's going to get bites. We're going to catch fish on it. Honestly, there's not a single lure I didn't like in this month's bag. And I'm not just saying that, you guys. I mean, I've caught them on lipless crankbaits. I've caught some fish on crankbaits. I haven't caught them on this style, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. It has a different size, different shape lip. But it's just going to swim even shallower. I've caught many bass on jerkbaits. I know that'll work. I've caught them on the stroker crawl. I'm going to uh, pair them up with the jig. And I've caught a bunch of fish on jigs, especially these here. I like the hybrid jig, and I like their swim jigs. Everything else, I'm going to swim it and jig it anyways. Bounce the lure, yo-yo it, swim it, drag the bottom. Nice little bluegill pattern right there. So we got bluegill patterns, crawfish patterns, and this threadfin shad color. I believe that was the color on that jerkbait. Yep, threadfin shad, provoke 106X. Very excited about the jerkbait. I think I'm most excited about the jerkbait in this month's bag because this will be my first six cents jerkbait. I've already fished their jigs, I fished their crankbaits, I fished their lipless, I fished their craw, soft plastics. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, you guys, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.